Welcome to Bikini Bottom Inquirer. Here's the seventh place winner of the Ocean's Hottest News Anchor Award, Perch Perkins. Tonight's top stories are lifeless mannequins secretly living among us. Then, a new arm shrinking spray hits the shelves, and locals wonder, what's it for? Ah, whoa, whoa. Seriously, what is the purpose of this? <laughs> And finally, a dangerous new viral dance challenge, The Sponge, sweeps Bikini Bottom, leaving parents concerned for the safety of their teenagers. But first, SpongeBob SquarePants, prom expert or prom failure? Prom problems. We've been tipped off by our anonymous source that the local fry cook who claimed to be an expert on high school proms, I am a prom expert had to resort to taking his best friend's mom to his own prom. I couldn't even get a date for my own junior prom. Meow. No, that was Patrick who brought his mom. So why lie about his prom experience? A second anonymous source believes that the young rectangle was lying in order to increase his odds of being chosen as this anonymous high schooler's date. So, is this behavior prom-ising for the young sponge? Or is it just prom-blomatic? Our quick re Our quick viewer poll reveals that the overwhelming majority of you find this Problematic. Can we get this off the screen? But now, mannequins may not be as lifeless as we once thought. That's right, scientists from around the ocean are flocking to Bikini Bottom to study a dummy. Meet Dummy Bob, a lifelike mannequin of its creator, SpongeBob SquarePants, that he first used to apparently get out of a conversation with his boss. Seriously? How is this guy employee of the month? And, and I can't even win Ocean's Hottest News Anchor. <laughs> Good old Mr. Oh, hi, Mr. Krabs. Are you talking to that dummy I made? It's pretty realistic, isn't it? But the trick worked a little too well, as his employer, Eugene Krabs, claims his daughter spent several hours with who she was convinced was the real SquarePants before learning it had actually been the dummy all along. SpongeBob? <sighs> While this isn't the first report of inanimate objects gaining sentience in Bikini Bottom, <laughs> it displays an interesting similarity to other incidents. They all seem to be connected to SpongeBob SquarePants. SquarePants has not responded to our request for a comment. Speaking of dummies, let's throw it over to Lurch Lurkins for today's weather. Oh, ho, ho, thanks, Perch. <laughs> and watch your back. Wait, what? It's time to get your squeaky boots on because there have been reports of unexpected indoor flash floods. That's right. Even though we're already underwater, flash floods are possible. Experts are unsure what caused the sudden flood in the Krusty Krab Friday afternoon that injured a group of septuplets visiting the restaurant. Although it was said to be accompanied by this ear-splitting sound of a whale call. Whether that's connected to the flash flood is currently unknown. Wow, that was loud. Sorry, everyone, but unfortunately, back to Perch. I don't know what made that whale so sad. I guess it must be a blue whale. You're a hack, Perch. It's time to fish out your wallets because a new product is flying off the shelves. From the people who brought you other useful sprays like Alien Out and Chrome in a Can, comes a unique new spray that allows you to shrink someone's arm. While that may sound great on paper, it has critics wondering, excuse my language, what the barnacles is the point, claiming that there is no purpose whatsoever for such a product. 
Local whale Pearl Crabs disagrees and even claims that the spray helped her deal with a totally lame date who was being, quote, on coral, unquote. Yay, my first prom picture. Ah, uh, our first prom picture. Let's get this over with. Arm shrinking spray is now available at your local bargain mart next to the hydrodynamic spatulas. But now, the dangerous new viral trend sweeping Bikini Bottom. It's called the sponge, a new dance craze overtaking the teenagers across the city. But unlike similar dance trends, such as the whack, a dance in which two parties hurl the full force of their entire body weight against each other, the sponge is actually dangerous. The dance begins by taking one's leg and sticking it in the air. The dancer then takes their other leg and jams it right up there. After twisting around and giving a, quote, great big lunge, participants are encouraged to begin bouncing around uncontrollably, inevitably leading to countless injuries. This footage from a local high school prom of dozens of teens falling victim to the trend shows just how quickly the sponge can cause the safety of its participants to plunge. We have a long tan and handsome student who wishes to remain anonymous on the line with his thoughts about the catastrophe. Perch phone. Uh, sir, can you hear me? Meep. Give us your take on all this. Meep. Yes, 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 meep, meep indeed. 21 were injured and $1,500 in damages were caused to the school before instigators were thrown out. Begging the question, who was supervising this event? The parents? Mrs. Puff? This giant walking underwater apple? Yeah, it's probably his fault. Jerk apple. Well, whoever was in charge, they failed. And now it will inevitably be your tax dollars being used to repair the damages. Because while a sponge may have caused this mess, it will take a lot more than one sponge to clean it up. I'm Perch Perkins, and that's all the news that's fit to float. Good night. Ah. Uh. Ugh.